Rachel, I'm in the warehouse district downtown. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can get you a physical address. Oh no! Hey sis, what's up with that dude over there? That's my car right there. I've been stranded since this morning. Do you mind if I take a look at the engine? Hey Lisa, do we still have some more water left over from that bottle? Half a gallon left. Give it here, let me see it. This is all the water we have left. Hey. Listen to your sister. Little bites, baby bites. Mmm. Oh. Oh. This sandwich is tasting so good right now. Mm. I know. This is the first time we haven't had to share one of these. Yeah. But I don't know where we're going to get our next meal from, though. We still have half a sandwich left from yesterday. Oh, that's right. We'll have that for dinner tonight. Do we have any more money left? Um. We have about a dollar left. Okay. Well, I guess after we finish lunch, we can just go back out there and beg for some more change. Okay. <laughs> mm. We should probably stop by and get some more water too. Oh, okay, we'll do that. here. Come on. I don't have time for this today. What, what's the problem here? I, I think this is the oil. Ah, damn. Ah, the oil levels are okay, but. What? Ah, I, I give up, I give up. I, I gotta call the cavalry. Rachel! Hi, Mr. Woka. Rachel, listen. I'm going to be running late, so I'm going to need you to move all my appointments to this afternoon. Sure thing, Mr. Woka. Thanks. And I'm going to need another favor. I'm going to need you to call me a tow truck. A tow truck? Well, my car broke down. Oh, no. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, but I, I, I think it overheated or something. What's your exact location? Uh, well, I'm, uh... I'm in the warehouse district downtown. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can get you a physical address. Oh, no. Oh, no! What have I done? Oh, no. Oh, God. Now what am I supposed to do? And why is it so hot? This heat is unbearable!
another long day. Hey, sis, what's up with that dude over there? I don't know, but he doesn't look too right, though. Maybe he needs our help. Let's go check it out. Hello, sir. Is everything all right? No, not really. Do you want something to eat or drink? Me and my sister have this sandwich that we can offer you. Ricky, that's all we have left to eat. If you give it to him, we won't have anything to eat tonight. Oh, it'll be all right, sis. We will manage. Plus, this guy looks like he needs it way more than we do right now. Look, I appreciate your kindness, but trust me, I'm okay. You guys wouldn't happen to have a, a phone I can use, would you? <laughs> a cell phone? Dude, does it look like we could afford a cell phone? Hell, me and my sister barely have a dollar to our name. Oh, I just thought I would ask. That's my car right there. I've been stranded since this morning. Wait, that's your car right there? Huh. Here I am thinking that you were homeless just like us. Wait, what happened to your car? It, uh, it overheated. Why didn't you call a tow truck? I did, but I accidentally dropped my, my phone in that drain right there. Damn, that's a bummer. Um, do you mind if I take a look at the engine? No, I'm right ahead. <sighs> yeah, I, uh, I checked the oil and everything seemed to be all right, but it seemed to be overheating before it broke down. Did you check the water in the radiator? No, but I took it for service earlier this month. Hmm, let me see. Yeah, the water looks pretty low. Hey, Lisa, do we still have some more water left over from that bottle? We have about half a gallon left. Okay, give it here, let me see it. This is all the water we have left. Hey, listen to your sister. Don't waste your water. Uh, nah, it's all right, man. Plus, you need our help right now. Come on, give it. Okay. You don't have to do this. Nah, sir. We want to help you. Come on. We got this. All right. You want to give it a restart? Check it out? Uh, yeah. You hear that? It's working already. Hey, it uh, doesn't seem to be overheating. I think it's working. Yeah, just let it sit for a couple more minutes. It should be good. Wow, it's, uh, it's running smooth again. That's awesome, yes. I, uh, I can't believe that you fixed it and I don't know how to pay you guys back. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, sir. It's our pleasure to help you. You guys are homeless. You don't have much, but yet and still you were willing to feed me and whatever little water that you had, you used it to help me out. No worries, man. It's all right. No, it's not all right. Wait, what do you mean? What I mean is I want to repay you guys. No, man, you don't have to repay us. We didn't do it for the money. We just saw that you needed some help, so that's what we decided to do. I don't think you understand. I'm not trying to give you money. I'm trying to help out your situation. Why don't both of you come by my office tomorrow and I'll talk to my HR department to set you up with some interviews. Interviews for what? A job. I own one of the largest companies in the state and I'm always looking for honest and wonderful employees such as yourselves. Are you serious? Oh my God, did, did you hear that? Yeah, you're dang right I heard it. Wow, it's amazing. But how do you say you're gonna hire us when you don't even know us? Look, what I know 
is that you two have a high level of integrity and selflessness that most people who come to interview with us don't even have. So, how about it? Yes, sir. <laughs> it would be an honor to work for you. <laughs> okay, then. Huh. Well, let's get in the car, but first, we have to stop by the department store and get you guys some clothes. You do want to look sharp for your interviews, right? Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> get inside. Oh. <laughs> 